On the night of June 20th, 1675, the small town of Swansea, Massachusetts was attacked by a group of American Indians and burned to the ground. This violent event began one of the most devastating conflicts in American history, known as King Philip's War. Philip was sachem, or leader, of the Wampanoag people, an American Indian group that lived in Massachusetts and Rhode Island. When the Puritan settlers founded Plymouth Colony in 1620, it was with Philip's father, Massasoit, that they famously made a treaty during the first Thanksgiving. He was also known by his Wampanoag name, Medicom. English leaders had given him the name Philip as a gesture of respect. By 1675, dozens of English towns had spread across the New England countryside. Tensions began to rise as the English encroached on land and tried to restrict Indian trading, all of which the Wampanoags felt threatened their autonomy or right to self-govern. The resentment of many American Indians around that time was expressed by a leader of a nearby Narragansett tribe when he complained, our plains were full of deer and our coves full of fish and fowl, but these English having gotten our land, they with scythes cut down the grass and with axes fell the trees. Their cows and horses eat the grass and their hogs spoil our clam banks and we shall all be starved. Tensions reached a climax when three Wampanoag men were convicted by an English court and hung for a murder of another American Indian. To Philip and many of his people, this breach of autonomy was too much. Soon after, Philip's warriors began attacking nearby villages, and as the Wampanoags formed alliances with neighboring groups, the attacks quickly spread throughout New England. The English colonies quickly responded by raising an army to capture Philip and his warriors. The violence on both sides was brutal. Villages were burned, innocent people murdered. An English raid on a Narragansett village ended with hundreds of women and children being burned to death in their homes. In the town of Lancaster, a woman named Mary Rowlandson recalls an attack on her own home. Some in our house were fighting for their lives, others wallowing in their blood the house on fire over our heads, and the bloody heathen ready to knock us on the head. During the attack, Rowlandson was separated from two of her children, while her youngest daughter was mortally shot as she held her in her arms. She was taken captive and forced to travel with Philip's warriors for 11 weeks. She met with Philip several times and earned extra food by knitting clothes for his people. As the war continued, Philip's followers dwindled. In August 1676, Philip was finally hunted down and killed. English captives were eventually returned and Rowlandson was reunited with her family. Many American Indians associated with Philip were executed or sent to the West Indies as slaves. Many others were displaced from their lands. With their victory in King Philip's War, the English confirmed their control over Native American lands in New England. Never again would American Indians in New England have as many rights. And the defeat and death of King Philip changed the relationship between the colonists and the native people of the region forever.